Let's mount up. Hey guys, so I've got a prototype made up for the shooting gallery. Uh, and I wanted to show you that. Um, now this is obviously a pretty early prototype here. Um, and there's a prototype for the gun here. And then this is a prototype for the target, right? So basically, uh, let me go over the gun first. So uh, the basic idea on this is this is an infrared LED. Okay, and then um, you've got a trigger button here and then a couple of other uh, buttons that do different things there. So um, the general idea is that you press the button, it sends an IR signal, an IR pulse to the target, and that's what's registering it. So this IR pulse, there are, uh, there's a library you can download for the Arduino uh, that makes this a lot easier to send out infrared signals. And um, basically I can choose different I can choose what signal it sends. So in this case, it's actually sending um, an on code for a Sony remote. Um, and basically what's going to happen is each gun is going to have a different uh, pulse that it sends, so a different code, right? So this sends a Sony on, you know, maybe another one sends one for like a Samsung. Uh, basically it would just be a different signal, and then that way the target will know which gun uh, triggered it. Because um, I'm going to have this uh, keep track of a score. Uh, so that way, you know, the target will know what gun hit it, and then it can uh, add up the score accordingly. Um, so now we've got that, and I've got this nifty little display here, and that's keeping track of your shots that are left, right? So um, I wanted to make sure to have um, a limited number of shots in the game. That way, you know, the kid can't go up there and just keep playing forever. I uh, wanted to be there like an end to the turn. Um, and what I did is I made it so that this can be adjusted. So, um, well, first let me show you the limit of the score. So right now this is set at 10 shots. So you take all your shots, um, and it counts down. Once it gets to zero, it won't send any more shots, and it's flashing, uh, showing that there's no more shots left, right? So then you hit the reset button, and it goes back. And then this guy here lets you cycle through the number of shots that is currently in the game. Right now I have it set between 5 and 50. So that way, um, you know, if it's getting really busy and it's taking forever to get through the game, you know, we can set the shots lower and then at other times if it's not very busy or, you know, we just want to shoot a bunch of the targets without, you know, having to keep resetting the game, we can, you know, bump it up to 50 or whatever. So um, I think that's pretty cool and that's going to work out really well. Um, now the target over here this is pretty basic. Uh, there is right here, uh, it's probably hard to see, but this is um, an infrared sensor, and that's what uh, picks up the signal sent by the LED. Uh, and then there's just a regular red LED that's that's on. So all of the targets will have that LED on, and then when you shoot it, when it registers a hit, it'll turn off, um, and then the prop will run, um, and then once it's ready to be shot again, the LED will come back on. Uh, right now I've got just a little buzzer hooked up, uh, so that way it kind of shows, gives you some, you know, audible, audible feedback when it's, when it's hit. Um, of course, in the actual shooting gallery, you know, this is going to trigger a prop. Um, and how that does it will depend on each prop. Um, right now we're still uh, deciding between what specific theme we want to do. Uh, once we pick that, then we can start uh, coming up with ideas for the props and uh, figuring out how those work. So depending on the prop, you know, if it's something simple, you know, I don't know, maybe it's like a, a, a tin can that is shot off a, a log or something like that, you know, that could probably be controlled by like a servo, right? You know, just pops it down, pops it back up. Um, stuff that maybe needs a little bit more speed or a little bit more power, you know, those could be um, triggered by pneumatics. So um, that's what's kind of, that's what's really cool about this system is, you know, you can pretty much control uh, whatever you need to control. Um, so there's going to be a lot of flexibility there, which is uh, definitely really cool. So now the next step on the gun is um, actually getting this into something you can uh, shoot with because this isn't really exciting, obviously, for the uh, finished product. Uh, so we're gonna, we're, we actually ordered a um, replica uh, gun, and it's a replica of a Colt Peacemaker, uh, 1873 45 caliber. 
So it's real metal, real wood. Um, so I think it's going to be pretty awesome to actually have like a realistic gun that you can shoot at the game. Um, I did some research on them. You can take them apart even though it's kind of a pain. Um, you can take it apart and then that way um, I will be able to figure out how to mount the uh, infrared LED inside of it and then have a switch inside of it uh, that is um, pushed by when you pull the trigger. So, um, and these guns will actually be tethered down to a counter uh, below it. That way, you know, the gun can't walk off with somebody. Um, and also it doesn't have to have any kind of like battery power or anything like that. So, um, and those will probably be tethered with um, like an air hose or a, a new uh, hydraulic hose. Um, those are pretty heavy duty and would give it, you know, space to run the wires down there. And then you can get, you know, screw them together. Um, connected to the bottom of the gun kind of a thing. So I think that's going to be, uh, I think that's going to work really well and I'm definitely excited about that. And I'll, I'll follow up with a uh, video showing specifically um, how, how that works out um, and how I figure that out. Still I haven't decided totally on the uh, targets, the, the housing for the targets. Uh, there's different, you know, size uh, like plastic project boxes that I'm thinking right now. Um, right now this is hooked up with a, a full size Arduino board. Uh, I ordered some uh, little mini ones that are a lot smaller. Um, more than likely that's what we'll use for the targets. Um, and you can get them pretty cheap. I mean, if you buy a bunch of them, you can get them for, you know, like $4 each from China. Uh, so you have to wait a little while to get them, but that's a pretty good price for that. Um, so, yeah, that would be, uh, be good for that. And then, uh, I don't know, I found some, like, circular... Uh, uh, like plastic discs uh, that maybe for, for the front with attached to a box, um, different ideas like that. So uh, we're still working on that. Okay, so uh, what are the next steps uh, in the project? Well, I need to prototype a um, main controller board. Uh, and that would be responsible for triggering uh, like the sounds and the props um, and keeping track of the score, that kind of a thing. Um, obviously right now this doesn't have any sound hooked up. Um, Unfortunately, these Arduinos can't play like MP3s or WAV files directly. You have to have a separate board, uh, like a processor, to do that. Um, so I'm looking into different options, trying to decide which one, which route I want to go um, for that. Um, but yeah, that'll be something I need to figure out too. For um, now, I found these little uh, modules here that basically let me connect all the different Arduinos up to each other, um, and then they can send data back and forth. Uh, that way, you know, the targets can send data back to the main controller so it knows, you know, what gun hit what, what target was hit, and it knows, you know, what prop to trigger and sounds to play, that kind of a thing. Uh, so I think these guys are going to work uh, really well uh, for the project. Um, that's, so I need to figure out, you know, actually how they, they communicate and figure all that stuff out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that would be good. Alright, so that's basically where I'm at right now. I just thought I would share that. Um, definitely really excited about how it's going so far and really excited about the uh, project in general too. So it's going to be uh, pretty cool once uh, this starts taking shape and we start actually triggering real props and stuff. That'll be really cool. So uh, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned. <laughs>